Ezra Venech Maya. Ezra 1. Now in the first year of Koresh, king of Persia, that the word of Yahuwah by the mouth of Yermiyahu might be fulfilled. Yahuwah stirred up at the Ruach of Koresh, king of Persia, that he made a proclamation throughout all his kingdom and put it in writing, rather, and put it also in writing, saying, Thus says Koresh, king of Persia, Yahuwah Elohai of heaven, has given me all the kingdoms of the earth, and he has charged me to build him a house at Yerushalayim, which is in Yahuda. Who is there among you of all his people? His Elohim be with him, and let him go up to Yerushalayim, which is in Yahuda, and build at the house of Yahuwah Elohai of Yashar'el. He is the Elohim which is in Yerushalayim. And whosoever remains in any place where he sojourns, let the men of his place help him with silver and with gold and with goods and with beasts beside the free will offering for the house of Elohim that is in Yerushalayim. Then rose up the chief of the fathers of Yahudah, and Binyamin, and the priests, and the Leviim, with all them Eth, whose Ruach Elohim had raised, to go up to build at the house of Yahuwah, which is in Yerushalayim. And all they that were about them strengthened their hands with vessels of silver, with gold, with goods, and with beasts, and with precious things, beside all that was willingly offered. Also, Koresh the king brought forth at the vessels of the house of Yahweh, which Nebuchadnezzar had brought forth out of Yerushalayim, and had put them in the house of his Elohim. Even those did Koresh, king of Persia, bring forth by the hand of Mithridath, the treasurer, and numbered them unto Sheshbatsetzar, the king of Yahuda. And this is the number of them, thirty chargers of gold, a thousand chargers of silver, nine and twenty knives, thirty basins of gold, silver basins of a second sort, 410, and other vessels, a thousand. All the vessels of gold and of silver were 5,400. All these did Sheshbatsetzar bring up with them of the captivity that were brought up from Babel unto Yerushalayim.